Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. USGS said a 6.1 earthquake struck part of Afghanistan. I think it was much stronger and it was a very deep earthquake. And videos that I've seen of the ground shaking up and down, there has to be damage and people injured. Here on USGS, 221 people reported feeling the earthquake. This earthquake was felt as far as Af uh, Pakistan. Uh, Durkistan, I guess that is up there. Uh, Ubistan, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And we'll pull it down here. Yeah, um, I'll pull it down some more. It was felt over a very long area, even in India. See, we got Pakistan, India. On the European Agency, EMSC. Uh, 264 kilometers southwest of the epicenter. Um, trying to get some of these translations. Felt hard in Kabul. Felt the shake. Um, yeah, no transition. It was long. Um, it was norm. There was some here. Let me go back up said it was very dangerous, strong, and lasted a few minutes. Um, Earth jolted Cobol City. No comments, no damage to report. Fed a little wave in Cobol. I guess it would depend on what type of ground you were on. Felt heavy jolts. Uh, felt it in Cobol. Now 258 kilometers. That's about 163 miles from where the earthquake occurred. Strong and long, it says here. Sudden earthquake occurred. Uh, shocks remained for a long time. Um, it was like in 2005. Very heavy. USGS gives no um, magnitude for where they came up with the 6.1. Here it says it was a 6.4. The earthquake occurred in the Hindu Kush region. And if you look at the felt report, you'll notice this mountain range. We got Nepal. And it looks like all these felt reports followed along uh, the Himalayan mountains. Now, Kabul, where it was felt strongly, is 230 miles away. Again, this was a very deep earthquake, about 130 miles below sea level. And they're pushing that it was a magnitude 6.1, even though there in um, Afghanistan they said it was a 6.4 it was probably stronger than that even prior to this 6.1 in Pakistan there was a magnitude 4.4 for all these felt reports and it, it definitely had to have moved yeah on Wikipedia they have an image of this thrust fault area and area that they did the study it says here that the main central thrust is a major geological fault where the Indian plate is being pushed under the Eurasian plate along the Himalayans. Yeah, we got uh, plate movement here. Yeah, I keep talking about this as we get closer to the magnetic pole reversal. During the last reversal, those that have followed me for a while will know that in fact the continents moved. Yeah, look at all these felt reports. I'll make it a little bit bigger so you can see it going down here. Yeah. The Himalayan mountain belt was produced by the collision of the Indian plate and the Eurasian plate. There's quite a few uh, videos on Twitter of different things shaking people, dropping to the ground as they're crossing the road, stopping their cars, getting off their motorcycles, and literally crawling. Even apartment buildings in Istanbul swayed back and forth. Now, this was larger than a 6.4. This is a significant earthquake and what it's showing with the uh, continents moving. Yeah. Sending prayers to everyone there. Yeah. I'm sure there's loss of life and I'm sure there's some damage and injured people. I hope not, but um, there's no reports of any injuries or damage, but I'm sure there is. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.